Allah has promised to answer our dua. But does that mean that every dua will be answered and that every request will be fulfilled? Al-Ulama have two answers for this. Uh, you know, every dua will be answered, but is every dua will be fulfilled or will be giving the request? Al-Ulama rahimahullah have two answers or two groups. Number one, they said, if the dua fulfill all the conditions, have all the etiquettes that we talk, or basically meet the etiquettes, meet the conditions, okay, it will be fulfilled and it will be answered. But the way it will be answered and the way it will be fulfilled is not in one way. Very. And this is the position of the vast majority of the fuqaha ta'ala in modern days and old days. Either they said he would be giving immediately what he asked for, or he would be giving what he asked for but later on. Or he will be saved from something bad or evil was supposed to happen to him, equal to what he requested. He's not going to give him what he asked, but it will be answered in another way that Allah will protect him from something bad or worse. Or he will not be giving what he asked for in this dunya, but he will be giving this in a form of reward in the Day of Judgment. And they base this on the hadith Ubadah ibn Samad that the Prophet said, whenever a Muslim supplicates Allah, he accepts his supplication or averts any similar kind of trouble from him until he prays for something sinful or something that may break the ties of kinship. Upon this, someone of the companion said, Ya Rasulullah, then we shall supplicate plenty. Allah, the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah is more plentiful in responding, reported by at tirmidhi And in one narration he said, uh, 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 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, well, basically three things in the hadith said. So he said, one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept his supplication and uh, give him basically what he requests, or uh, uh, averts any similar kind of trouble for him, and in hakim narration, or give him equivalent reward. So three things can be given to the person. Uh, in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah will accept your dua as long as you're not hasty. So that's also another proof he said. So Allah accept every dua, answer and fulfill every dua of the believers. Okay? As long as the conditions are met and the hindrance are removed, like being hasty, like being not believing in it, like believing in Allah and so forth. So there's the, guarant the, the fulfillment is guaranteed through one of these ways. The second opinion, some scholars said, no, not every dua will be fulfilled. It according to Allah's will. If it's what he requested, something good, Allah will give it. If it's something bad, he will not give it. If it's something goes according to the wisdom of Allah, it will be happy, fulfilled. But if it's not, he will not be giving anything. And that's some of the Shafi'i and the Maliki said that. Is it because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, بَلْ إِيَّاهُ تَدْعُونَ فَيَكْشِفُ مَا تَدْعُونَ إِلَيْهِ إِنْ شَاءَ He said, uh, 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 he would remove that for which you invoked him if he willed. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, but if the truth had uh, uh, followed, uh, يعني Allah had followed their in inclinations or their desire, the heavens and the earth and whoever is in them would have been ruined. So that means uh, it is clear that not Allah doesn't follow everybody's desire and wishes. And they said the reality is very clear. The reality is not every dua is the answer for it is fulfilled. They said yes. The dua is answer, but the answer is no. <laughs> you know, uh, Prophet Nuh, Prophet Ibrahim, Prophet Muhammad, the answer was no to all of them. Uh, Nuh asked for his son. Ibrahim asked for his father. Muhammad asked for his uncle to be guided, to be saved. And all of them, the answer was no. Okay, 
also the Prophet وسلم, said, I ask my Lord three things. He gave me two and said no to one, prevented me one. And what's the thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked Allah? That uh, uh, basically he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not ever to let this, his ummah, okay, to die out of hunger or drought. He said, I give it to you. Not to let this ummah ever to be wiped out, okay, by a flood. The Allah promised him he, he will not. Then he said, I asked them not to make them fight one another. And he said, he didn't give it to me. Uh, and I think there is really no contradiction between the two. We say that yes, everyone is answered, but the answer should be giving to him what he wants or not giving to him that he, uh, uh, what he did and basically he will not give him what he requested. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometimes doesn't give us what we request because he know that the best thing for us not to have it now, but to have it in a form of reward in the day of judgment. And in the day of judgment, people might say, I wish none of my dua was accepted because he will see the amount of reward. Allah maybe knows that this extra reward that Allah saved it for you is the one gonna save you from hellfire or the one gonna elevate you in Jannah to closer to uh, or higher level. Allah knows the future. That's why he wanted this to be the reason for you to be saved or to be uh, risen in Jannah. And you didn't know about that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want this reward that will remain forever for you. And you want for yourself the reward that will remain for a temporary period of time. Allah maybe knows that it's not the best for you to give you the son that you ask for or the man or the woman that you are praying for. Allah knows that that job that you prayed for all these years, maybe they're not the best for you. That's why Allah never give it to you. He protect you from something worse that it can happen to you in the future. Or the wealth that you were looking for, or the money that you ask for. We know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't give you what you want also for greater wisdom subhanahu wa ta'ala. He knows maybe the victory that you prayed for, if it was given to you, it will be a cheap victory. No, it will not be valued. And soon will be lost. But Allah wants to prepare you for it. So you earn it and you, when you have it, you really deserve it and you value it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has his timeline and he give according to his timeline, according to his wisdom, not according to our timeline and according to our wisdom and to our need.